right, Shondi, you ready to go alligator hunt? Yeah. This, of course, is a, a larger scale alligator than probably what we may end up shooting. The big question <laughs> is, as people go, how, how do you know how long one is if it's in the water and all you see is its head? Mm -hmm. And I said, we'd look at enough of them, you know, mm -hmm. over the years that we can guesstimate how long they are. But the typical way to take a quick measurement is to come from the inside corner of the eye, mm -hmm. the front corner, to the nostril hole. And if you look, that's about 12 inches. This gator was 12 foot long. So for every inch, they're usually a foot long. Huh? Another way to take a measurement is to come from the, this side of the jaw to this side of the jaw, which is gonna be roughly, mm -hmm. this one would be 12 inches. So the brain of the alligator is gonna lay right in here. And it's gonna be between the eyes, but behind them. And this is all covered by a really hard skull plate right here. Mm -hmm. And on this mount, it's hard to tell, but this right here is his ear. And this will actually flap up like this and then it'll close to, to make him waterproof. Mm -hmm. So the ear, the eye, these are very vital areas to shoot one in. Okay. Okay. So the brain is here. Okay. We shoot them from the side. This size alligator, your target is this, this wide or, or long. Uh -huh. But when they're in the water, the water sometimes is across the top of his nose, so mm -hmm. the only thing you're gonna see is his snout, okay. and you'll maybe see from about my hand, which just from that view eye. is just okay. below the eye. Mm -hmm. So your target might be an inch. Okay. So it's very, very important that your guns are zeroed exactly where you want them at the distance you think you're gonna be shooting. Okay. I have no idea what we're gonna be shooting, but most of the time when we're hunting alligators, we're within 50 yards of them. Okay. If we're broadside on an alligator, aim for the eyeball. That gives you a good point of reference. And you figure this size alligator that's mm -hmm. maybe three quarters of an inch, his eyeball diameter. Okay. So hold in the, on the eyeball. If he's facing this angle, mm -hmm. we're taking it in his eye and quartering. out through the brain, okay. quartering. If he's facing quartering away, mm -hmm same thing but you're coming across oh, this way okay okay mm -hmm. the best shot opportunity we could have at one in the water is if he's facing straight away oh, from really? you huh. and if you're elevated mm -hmm. so if you're elevated it gives you more surface area for the target okay. but his spine runs right up the back of the, the center of his body right into the back of the skull mm -hmm. and this area right here will not look rounded on one so when you see one today facing away it'll look it'll just look square back here. Uh -huh. But if you can put the bullet placement right in here, it sends it down in there deep and and, and will kill it immediately. Okay. So this is a really good angle. If you're up high, mm -hmm. shooting down this way, this is where I want you to aim. The biggest mistake people make is trying to get ready as one's coming in. Mm -hmm. It's better just let them get close okay. and then when they get in range or get right, then try to move on. Because okay. if he's out there 50, 75 yards and you start moving, he just stops. Done. And it'll and then, stop and then also they just go down and... So they can see really well. Like, oh yeah. And they got All their sense. senses are, yeah, okay. are very good, very good. I mean, their, their sense of smell, their eyesight, their hearing, they can feel you walk. Oh, I mean, they're, they're, they're prehistoric animals. I mean, That's so cool. they, they've, lived, they've lived through it all.